Picture this, it is 2021 and Tower Defense Simulator is in the midst of its Halloween update. You're already expecting an update for a while, but one still isn't coming. And then, all of a sudden, you get this leak. A health bar that just says, Awakened Fallen King. This is exactly what happened a little over a year and a half ago, and at first sight, I didn't even believe this. I thought that could easily be faked, but shortly after, it turned out to be real. After an admin going by the name of Biscuit had spawned it in a video by Dr. T. At that point is when I realized the Awakened Fallen King was not fake at all. It was an actual thing that was in the game. And upon that realization, a lot of people started speculating. This also connected to the Error Buster badge, because the Error Buster badge had the Awakened Fallen King on it theories such as this being a new hidden wave or a new event immediately started popping up. Maybe it was something to do with a secret in the lobby. No one really knew, but because the Airbuster badge was in the game, it probably meant that we were going to see this boss implemented into the game soon. Now, it's been over a year and a half, and we still haven't seen anything about the Awakened Fallen King. We have some images that have been released that look like the Awakened Fallen King, but no one really knows if it's going to be added. And if this is the case, this would make the Awakened Fallen King leak one of the longest lasting leaks that still hasn't been added to the game. Besides maybe the Hacker Tower, we still have yet to see that and that was leaked like in 2020. But regardless, it has been a long time. So what has happened to the Awakened Fallen King? Is it still gonna be added? And also, what was the aftermath of the Awakened Fallen King being leaked? Well, I'm gonna try to answer all of these questions today to the best of my ability. So let's start with the first one. Is the Awakened Fallen King still going to be added? There's of course no way to tell. The developers have leaked nothing on it since its removal during the Frost Invasion event, so there's no way to tell what progress is being made on it whatsoever. If I had to suggest something, I would say don't get too optimistic. If it was really an update we're gonna see anytime soon, then TDS would have definitely told us something about it, or at least released a leak of some sort, kinda like they're doing with the nuclear update. Let's move on to the second question. What was the Awakened Fallen King actually meant for. There were theories of it being an event, a hidden wave replacement, or a completely different secret that we just had to find. And while each one of those theories is technically plausible because there's no comment from the developers, the most likely one would have probably been a hidden wave replacement. Hidden wave was already pretty much completely broken after the overhaul update. People were able to go over a minute faster than needed to get to hidden wave. And although it was quite tough to beat, with the addition of Sledger and Toxic Gunner, hidden wave became an absolute breeze. It was so easy that you could just normally speed on a game of Fallen and then get Hidden Wave and even maybe beat it. It was just a complete joke. So it would make sense for it to be a Hidden Wave replacement. The badge's name, Error Buster, also kind of hints at the enemy, which is an error. While they do come out normally in Fallen, Hidden Wave is mainly packed with enemies based off glitches, bugs, errors, all of that. So that is most likely what it was meant for. But that leads us into the next question. Why was it never added? Just look at this enemy. And also take a look at Hidden Wave, which is now removed. If we have a really cool looking enemy and you already also removed Hidden Wave, why not just add it back but make it better with this Awakened Fallen King? Maybe the Awakened Fallen King was never ready to be added into the game, and the developers just had it ready for a future update, but then having it leaked would hype the community up for something that wouldn't even happen, so they had to remove it completely. Why didn't they just add it back? Well, Hinwave does take quite a lot of work, and also a lot of balancing. Since TDS is constantly getting bug fixes and updates, a lot of strategies are actually changing as a result of these bug fixes. For example, with the rate of fire bug being fixed, Accelerator is now way stronger than it once was. So if we still had the same old Hidden Wave, but now much stronger towers as a result of this bug fix, then Hidden Wave would be even easier than it already was. So it is definitely a good idea to fix every bug in your game before adding a mode that could just get screwed over by the very next bug fix. That is probably why we never actually got to see the Awakened Fallen King, but maybe the developers are just salty. That may be a little bit of a hot take, but who knows, maybe the developers really wanted to keep this thing a secret, but as soon as it got leaked, they got very furious and decided that they were just going to scrap the whole thing. And that actually isn't completely false, because after Just Harrison's video where he admin abused, and the Awakened Fallen King was leaked, the next update after that, Below Natural removed admin commands from pretty much every single person who had them. The only person that really gets to keep admin commands like they once were is John Roblox. 
but that does kind of make sense since John Roblox is IRL friends with the developers, while all the other admins are not. Now there is a probability that this change was made not just because of the Awakened Fallen King being leaked, maybe there were some other things going on that would have gotten the admin commands removed anyways, but seeing as it happened pretty soon after that admin abuse video went up, I think there is definitely a connection between the two. After hearing all of that, I think it's a good idea to consider again, will the Awakened Fallen King actually be added into the game? We've had pretty much one update on something that could mimic the Awakened Fallen King whatsoever, so I'm really uncertain whether or not it'll actually Actually be added but leave a comment below what do you think thank you for watching like subscribe please do and see ya